Hey everyone, welcome to Dama Scaling YouTube channel. My name is Eddie Wang, and yesterday we had the Tekken talk, and there is a roadmap of updates for the game, and one of them is that on May 4th there are going to be, are going to be buffs, right? And uh, Jin is going to get buffed, and why I am saying this, and that's because during the stream Michael Murray said. The developer said that the buffs are going to be focused on those characters that cannot uh, display their uniquenesses, right? And uh, one of the characters that doesn't display his uniqueness well, along of so along with Kazuya, is also Jin, maybe Nina as well, but mostly Jin. Uh, Jin is a character that doesn't change at all when he has hit. That's because his hit sucks and this this isn't nothing new to us right but what i'm going to do in this video today is i'm going to highlight exactly why all the in, in uniquenesses of gene sucks and predict how they are going to buff it so i have frame advantage here on display for gene so you guys can have an idea of what i say so i'm going to activate hit now and I'm going to do the first problem is obviously this one, right? And uh, the 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 power stance on its own has zero range. And uh, I think overall they are going to increase this slightly, so that on distance like this one, for example, from here, uh, when the character is backing away from it, is still going to get hit by it because. This only works on stationary characters, but if someone is blocking already, for example, let's say he is stuck block, and then, let, what is the backlash? There is no walk back. I never thought about it, but there is no walk back. So, if I am already in hit and I do this, see that character is too far. So, uh... This is the first issue from power stance activation. The second one is that it doesn't do any damage at all. On top of being a power crash, this doesn't do damage. Yeah, I'm going to turn off this. This doesn't do damage. And as if, since this doesn't do damage, when you hit characters with it on the air, it scales the damage to 70%. Of its original damage that's bonkers it means that if if someone jumps at me or do does an aerial move then i predict it predict it with omen the moment this connects on an airborne character to stun them in the air my combo is going to do significantly less because the first hit scales to 70 damage on top of being not of what on top of being doing zero damage so it's bad and that is just the beginning of the design of this that we at the gene community were discussing it and we came to the conclusion that this is an afterthought they really had no idea what to do with gene's home instance and uh finally let's go to the other main problems right uh here's another one when Jin activates this uh, the first 10 frames of the crouch dash uh, he cannot do electrics, he cannot do health sweeps, he cannot do anything he cannot do anything at all nothing uh, so this right here it doesn't matter if you mash it doesn't matter if you mash or if you press on the very first frame the move will only come out 10 frames after so your health sweep that is 16 frames is going to become 26 your electric that is 14 frames is going to become 24 see that and uh what i am predicting is since they are not going to remove that because it's part of the design of the auto dash right because when this connects gene gets to do this uh, what I predict is that the electric is going to become a mid. 
they are going to make the electrical mid so that you can 50-50 with the health sweep. Because if you see the frame differences between one is 26 and the other one is 24, right? Because there is a 10 frame uh, lockout period where moves don't really come out. It doesn't matter if you press on the first available frame or not. The move is going to be buffered 10 frames after. Uh, so since the only mix-up that Jin has that is ambiguous as hell in this game for the home and stance is with Demon's Hoof, right? Which is home and three. And Demon's Tail, which is the low. But the low on top of being super punishable on block, it doesn't guarantee anything on hit. It doesn't launch. It's the only option that doesn't launch. And uh, it's bad. Yeah, it's bad. It's really just a knockdown in GG's. Yeah, you get a 50-50, of course. But it's super punishable on block. Uh, so I don't think they are going to make the low launch. That would be crazy. But I think they are going to make the electric mid. Uh, it's how I predict that they are going to change this on top of having additional range to the power stance so that whenever Jin connects a power stance on it it gets to move in no matter what right and people cannot just simply back away from it by holding back which happens a lot this is one of the easiest ways to avoid the omen stance uh, this is what I predict that they will do but what I would really want them to do is to let him cook and when i say cook is to store the omen stance that will give him uniqueness so whenever i do a power stance and it with if i hold the one plus two control that right, right, the, the the two the two buttons control and press down up back forward uh it gets to do a lingering so it's a mechanic that he used to have in tekken 4 and tekken 5 and i believe tekken 6 if i'm not mistaken and he had lingering soul and with lingering soul uh, Jin had something interesting so in Tekken 5 DR uh, when he did the lingering soul right he did a power stance into the taunt by doing that command his electric his electric wasn't a launch it wasn't a launch back then but when you had a lingering soul it would launch vertically up so I'm thinking that whenever he is in hit and he does that, it will be the same as doing uh, a hit burst cancel, right? To activate hit at the same frame by doing power stance into that and will cancel into this. And now Jin is in business. And when in business, it no longer needs to do a power stance. Just really wave dashing into it. And do an electric will do a god fist, a lightning god fist, a super fast health sweep that launches because it's something that he lost as well. Demon's hoof and of course demon's tail. That alone should suffice and be enough to make this character gaining some individuality. They can even go further even and let him store heat after the heat is expired, like a lingering heat. For example, let's say that I I'm in hit, right? And when I have, I am in my last bar, for example, and now I do a power stance right here, and I do this, I no longer have hit activated, but I stored one. So if I do every single time I do a crouch dash now, a breaking step, his eyes would flash red to indicate that I still have lingering hit right and with that it would get an electric wind god fist uh hell sweep a demon soup all the hit options that he gets when his power stance connects it would get even individually even if he doesn't have hit he cannot only no, the only thing that he shouldn't get is a hit smash right but he should be able to still get the omen options out of it that would make him interesting interesting a bit complex indeed but would make him interesting right and this is something that they want to it's just what i want them to do uh, but i think overall what they are going to do with genius they are going to increase the reach of the power stance 
by one point uh, they are going to make electric amid that is the most plausible way they are going on with this but if they really want to make a difference uh, I wouldn't say making the the electric amid but allowing him to wave dash from from the power stance right from here allowing to wave dash from it It, something he doesn't do and also uh cancelling right cancelling so he can use like 443 cd ones and whatever right uh, that would make a huge difference to Jin. but sadly 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 he doesn't do that but let's wait the date is may 4th where they promised some balance updates and uh is going to focus on buffing characters that cannot display their individuality. I think Jin is one of these characters because it doesn't change at all when he activates it. Uh, the other one is probably Kazuya as well. And there is quite a few, but these are the ones that come into mind when it's down to the hit stuff that they do. They have it in the game, but it sucks, right? So these are two characters that I think are going to get buffed and this is just provision so see you guys on the next one and hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to hit your like subscribe and hit the notification bell for future stuff on Jin and other characters in the game see you guys soon